Hey Greedy 3 ds playing with new 3D resins is what we like to do here at Greedy 3D. And Nova 3D have sent me some new resins to play with, so that's what I'm going to be testing today. Stay tuned. So the first resin we're going in with today is the Tough Washable Resin Grey. Now this is a real thick resin, so don't be too surprised if it comes out really, really gloopy. And we do need to adjust the settings a little bit to make this Nova 3D a Tough Washable Resin work. My first attempts at it were not brilliant, so I contacted Nova and they gave me the right settings to use on my Uniformation GK2. I'm going to do the Silk Spectre by Berserk Studios. Look at the settings here I'm using. So 0.5 layer height, three bottom layers, uh, 2.8 second exposure time on each bottom layer at 45 seconds, with a rest time before lift at six seconds. Those are the settings that I've used, and those are the ones that I've found to be really effective with this model. Now, there is the Silk Spectre model there. I'm just adding some supports to it. If you want to get this, there'll be a link in the description. A few hours later, after using this wonderful, tough, washable resin from Nova 3 D. Voila, there she is, all printed and ready for us to have a closer inspection. And there's a couple of areas that it looks like the supports didn't quite catch. So you can see the importance of having those bottom layer times and that exposure times. But thankfully, everything is printed remarkably well. I've got no real dramas with the quality of anything that I could see here. Everything looks good. It's perfect quality for what I need here for this model. And if you look a little bit closer on it, you'll see that it's looking really, really lovely using the settings that I've just found and have passed on to you wonderful people. Now, the uh, resin came off the bottom of the build plate without any problems at all. Some resins I've used previously have been welded to the build plate, but I was happy to see that this was not the case with the Nova 3D resin using those settings that I have aforementioned to you guys. And this is what she looks like after she's been washed in some IPA and cured, and I've just glued it together, really just to show you the quality and what you're going to get for your money there. It's, it's looking good. I've got no dramas with the quality. I've got no dramas with how easy it was to print, how easy it was to get off. Everything's come out pretty much where I wanted it to be. I'm happy with the quality of that. Still needs a little bit of a clean up with some sandpaper just to tidy you up. But hey, don't all models need that? Of course they do. Now you may recognise these models from my last video about cleaning solutions and using different cleaning stations to get the best results. Make sure you watch that video to see which one was best. This is a Wicked Design Beast head and I've printed this again with the settings that I showed you earlier on my Uniformation GK2 and they have printed absolutely beautifully as you can see there. I chose this print for this actual reason because there's quite a lot of detail in it. Uh, there's a lot of areas like the hair and I wanted to test the strength of of it. Now getting them off the build plate was a doddle, no dramas again. I've just used a hair dryer on the supports to get the supports off. The hair dryer just loosens up the supports so and makes them come off easy and leaves less divots in place. So I do highly recommend you get uh, either a hair dryer or let them soak in some hot water to get the supports off. But the supports came off really easy. And there are the three different heads all ready for three different cleaning solutions. I'll just show you the three solutions that I used very, very briefly to clean them up. I use this, the Hay Gears uh, Ultra Craft Wash. If you've not seen this one before, check out my review. It's a very clever idea. It's got some flaws and it's over engineered, but clean the model lovely. I've also used the Uniformation Ultrasonic Cleaner in a bag of IPA dipped into the cleaning solution. Again, did a wonderful job. And thirdly, I've used a toothbrush and some IPA neat just to clean this one up. If you want to see which one came out best, make sure you check my previous video. And here we can now see the beast in all his glory. Um, you can see there that the edges of his hair. We've got no brittleness. Uh, squeezing that on certain other resins would cause them to snap off. And this is nice and strong, not too movable, but it certainly moves enough to make it uh, strong. And I have dropped this model and not a mark on it. So that's, uh, that's excellent. So it's very, very strong, very durable. And I'm also pleased with the quality that you get with this. As you can see there, there's a highly detailed model that we could have produced and it's, it's printed it lovely. Again, the settings that I've used were the ones aforementioned earlier on in the video. Now, just to test something a little bit stronger with it. I printed these little brackets, I guess, for my shed. Uh, the shed sides had come apart from the front and I just wanted to stick them back on. So I've used these with a bit of glue and oh my God, they are absolutely rock solid strong as anything they fixed me shed and put me shed back together wonderfully so again happy with the quality happy with the resin and they're very very strong moving on to 
washable mecha resin. This is night grey. Again, this is the Nova 3D washable mecha resin. And we are going to use this to make a wonderful character from Aliens. This is Private Vasquez. There'll be a link in the description where you can buy this wonderful file from. Uh, now, the settings that I'm going to use for Vasquez are a little bit different. So let's just have a quick look at those. For the exposure time, I'm going to do a 2.2 seconds. The uh, bottom time is 40 seconds each layer. And I'm having a rest layer of 5 seconds in between each print. I'm going to be printing this on my Uniformation GK2 heated to 25 degrees. Returning to the GK2 a few hours later, I am presented with Vasquez or most of Vasquez. We've had another bit of a failure of part of this print, but the rest of it has come out absolutely perfectly. If you just look at the top part of the body there, I really don't know what's happened to that. But comparing it to the other bits on there, which have come out lovely, the texture on them, the smoothness, the detail has been pretty darn perfect so I'm not quite sure why that one part failed I will print it again just in case it was user error which is always possible and looking at the rest of it now and taking it off the build plate getting those supports off was really really easy I had absolutely no issues at all it came off the build plate look at that it's beautiful just like butter coming off a piece of bread it's absolutely perfect it just siphoned off wonderfully look at that and that was the build plate cleaned now They've been cleaned, they've been cured. Let's have a look at them. I cannot fault the quality of that. The smooth parts are smooth, the detail is detailed, all the little nooks and the little crannies are printed absolutely wonderfully. I, I really don't know why we've had that part failure because just look at the skin smoothness on Vasquez. It's just beautiful. So as I say, we'll print it again just to be on the safe side. The detail in the laces and the detail on the bracket for the gun are absolutely perfect. Let's print that other part again and the base and have a look at that print. I checked on this a few times through the print and my confidence was high that everything was going to be okay and there it is everything is okay there's a couple of miss bits on the supports and i'm not sure why that is or how that's happened but the model itself has printed pretty darn flawlessly so again that i think that could be down to my user error there i certainly don't think i can fault the resin for that because the end result of this is looking beautiful it's coming off the build plate perfectly as i would expect and as the last model did and again Getting the supports off the build plate was a dream. Nothing was welded on there. I didn't need a hammer and chisel to get anything off. And uh, everything came off absolutely perfectly. Quick clean of the build plate with a little bit of IPA and a wipe down with some kitchen roll. And that's ready to go for its next print. There was nothing left on the build plate. Wow, just look at that result there for Vasquez. This Mecha resin is definitely my favourite uh, Nova 3D resin. It's smooth, it is detailed, it's exquisite to look at and the detail and the texture of it is just beautiful. A couple of supports to tidy up, of course there is, there always is. The base again is printed flawlessly, a little bit of clean up after work there to be done, but of course that's the natural part of the process of 3D printing and there's the finer part, there's the little lamp on her back, again perfect. And there's Vasquez in her full glory. This, uh, this Nova 3D resin, this one is definitely my favourite, it's done a wonderful wonderful job on Vasquez and again if you want to get this file there will be a link in the description where you can download a thank you Nova 3D. Well once you've dialed in this resin it does give you some fantastic results. I've had some beautiful prints from it, some smooth prints, some detailed prints and some really strong non-brittle results. Really really happy with it. Dialing it in is the key and the good thing with Nova 3D is their support services get back to you really really quickly. When I had a problem I emailed them with almost return email i would got some new settings to try and they did actually work on 95% of the cases. Now it's a little bit of witchcraft with 3D printing there's why certain bits work and certain bits don't and I can't always say it's not user error but on the whole I've had about a 95% success rate with this Nova 3D resin and I've been really pleased with the results that it's given me. Now if you like what you see today please support the channel and you can do so in a number of ways. Support the channel by subscribing it's free it's quick it's simple it just takes a little click of that little donny of yours if you want to buy anything from the item description if you want to get hold of this then you can uh, i'll put all the links for the resin that i'm using today and uh, if you want to subscribe to the greedy 3d patreon you again 
would be more than welcome. You can join it from as little as nothing and be part of the family, or you can cough up a couple of quid a month just to support me and allow me to continue to do the things that I love to do. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful. Let me know what your thoughts are about Nova 3D. Do you like it? Don't you like it? Have you used it? Has it been positive for you or negative? Let me know and let anybody else that reads the reviews know as well. I think it's important to share our findings with these new resins that we're using. Glad you've enjoyed today, or I hope you have anyway, and I'll see you soon on Greedy 3D. Thank you.